This session will show the analysis of a gas test with Sapphire. A new Sapphire file is created. The reference time is set in 2001, corresponding to the first point of the braid history. Gas is selected as a reference phase. In the Advanced PVT options, dry gas is selected and all parameters as default. The analysis tools are also kept at default and the document is created. From the load option in the control panel, pressure data are loaded from an ASCII file. The time format is selected as points. The first column is defined as state and the second column as time of day. The pressure data is found in the third column. The rates are now loaded from an ASCII file. The time format is duration and the time is decimal time. The first data point is automatically set at the document reference time previously defined. The history plot shows a modified isochronal gas test. The last flowing period is extended to reach the stabilized flowing pressure. Pressure transit analysis may be conducted on the buildups. The last buildup is extracted and an automatic analytical model generated. The model on the history plot shows a good match on the last buildup, but not for the other production events. Next, all the buildups are selected for extraction and are shown on the log log, semi log, and history plots. Each buildup is represented by the same color on all plots. The log lot plot, where data are normalized by the rate, hence added changing skin between flow periods. In order to obtain a better understanding of the variation of skin, match and to show the skin versus rate dependent behavior, multiple semi log straight lines may be drawn. The multiple line option is located in the right click menu of the log lot plot. Individual lines are checked and a box selection is drawn on the log lot plot at the derivative stabilization. Once done, regression lines for each buildup are created simultaneously on the semi log plot. The skin versus rate results are shown in a new plot. The value of skin calculated from the semi-log straight lines is displayed against the rate corresponding to the extracted production event. Each buildup result is marked by a square. The horizontal red line represents the arithmetic average of all the skin values obtained from the semi-log plot. The value of the slope of the red regression line provides the variation of skin with rate, i.e. the d-skin over dq result. This result can now be transferred to the analytical model using the analysis dashboard as shown. Semi-log analysis is under the specialized analysis category. The history plot shows a better match. To improve the match, a regression may be run on the wellbore storage, skin, and D-skin over DQ parameters, with the history plot as the target. Next, an inflow performance relationship, or IPR, is constructed for the well. In the main ribbon, under the Additional Tools tab, the IPR option is selected. The IPR type is selected as CNN, and the test type as modified isochronal. The transit production data are selected for display on the IPR plot along with the model. The last extended production period is picked under the Parameters tab. Finally, the average pressure value is entered. The IPR plot is created with pressure on the Y axis and gas rate on the X axis. The results from the IPR can be shown on the plot. 
The plot type can be switched from a pressure versus rate Cartesian plot to gas pseudo pressure versus rate log log plot. This concludes this sapphire session on gas test analysis.